Hi guys and welcome to Oscar Hunter for this cool floating ghost DIY project. What would be Halloween without ghosts? Definitely not so creepy and the ghosts I want to show you today are hanging in the trees and if it's got a little bit windy the ghost seems to float in the air. Just put a little bit light below the ghost and you get a very cool Halloween decoration. The ghosts you can see behind me are part of some other videos and I will provide the link down in the description. Before we start the project, here's a short advice. This video contains no sponsorship, so if you want to support me and my channel, please subscribe to my channel and activate the notification bell. This way you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. But now enough for the introduction, let's go and start the project. So alright, welcome to my new video set here and this is the first video I'm creating at the set here and it looks a little bit boring at the moment but this will change very soon. There will be an update video about the decoration. But now back to the main topic of this video. You are here because you want to create such a cool ghost. So let's take a look at the list what you need for this project. Two millimeter wire for tinkering, length 65 centimeter. Some fleece, I use a wheat fleece here, 45 by 90 centimeter. Piece of fleece, 20 by 25 centimeter. Some gaze, 45 by 80 centimeter. Piece of gaze, 20 by 25 centimeter. Some wire, length 10 centimeter. You can use the wire for tinkering again. Piece of small rope, length 50 centimeter. A skull, 8 by 8 by 10 centimeter. And a foam tube, outer diameter 20 millimeter. The inner side is hollow and the length is 45 cm and the material is something that won from the pool noodles. And for assembling you need additionally hot glue, drill with a 6 mm drill bit, a scissor, a nipper and universal glue of your choice. So without doing advertisement here I can recommend using the Pedex 60 seconds universal glue. This one dries transparent or the rock solid contact glue. This is a contact glue, but it doesn't dry transparent. It is a little bit yellowish at the end. A short advice when using such glues here. The smell is really intensive and please take a look at the instructions of the manufacturer. In most cases, it's a good idea to open the window to have some fresh air or use an appropriate respirator. Alright, we start by creating the arms and therefore I use the 65 cm wire and the foam tube and I will go 10 cm from both ends, bend the wire, twist it around and then put the wire into the foam tube. Alright, it's time to create the body of the ghost and our fluttering rope and therefore I use uh, the wheat fleece here and let me open it quickly. Alright, and I will place it in a way that I have about 70 cm on this side and about 20 cm on this side. You can eyeball it, you don't have to measure it for exact values here, just eyeball it. You don't have to count inches or centimeters here. And as a glue, I use the Patek 60 seconds universal glue here and glue the wheat fleece into place. All right, first layer of our body, the fluttering rope is done and now comes the second layer. And here I use the gaze, uh, 45 by 80 centimeter, and I will line this up on the short side here and glue it into place. Alright, glue has dried and if we take a look, this is how it looks at the moment and if we let it fly, I think it looks pretty well. But we are not finished yet because here comes the head. 
<laughs> First up, we have to prepare the skull and therefore we need the drill with a 6mm drill bit and we add an additional hole at the bottom next to the one which is already there and we drill a hole at the top where we pull through the small rope where we can hang the skull and the rope is secured by hot glue. Now it's time to add the head scarf to our skull and therefore I use the 25 by 20 centimeter wheat fleece. And this is the 25 centimeter side and the fleece is added in such a way here. And as a second layer I use the gaze like this. And at the top I will cut a small hole where I can pull through the rope and everything is glued down using the hot glue. When using the hot glue, please pay attention to let the hot glue cool down a little bit. Otherwise, you can run into trouble that the hot glue may melt the wheat fleece. So we have our body, we have our head and now it's time to put the head onto the body. I know Halloween sometimes it's the other way around but this time we add the head onto the body. And therefore we use our last piece here, our piece of wire 10 cm and I will pull it through the holes at the bottom. Therefore I will bend the wire a little bit like this and then you can put it through the holes at the bottom very nicely. Then I ball the center, stick it through the gaze and the wheat fleece and twist it at the bottom side. Now we have our material at the back side of the head of the skull and now it's up to you. You can leave it this way here and put it like this. Then it looks like this from the front or you can do it like I will do. I will glue it into place like this using some hot glue. Alright, our ghost is nearly finished, but the body, our fluttering rope, doesn't look good enough for Halloween and therefore I use the scissor now and cut into the ends of the wheat fleece and the gauze and then I will twist the ends of the gauze so they will look a little bit better for Halloween.
All right, our ghost is finished and I think this guy looks pretty awesome and is definitely ready for its great usage in the Halloween decoration. I hope I didn't promise too much when we talk about the difficulty level of this project. You saw you did not need too much materials, you did not need too much time to realize this project, so you can create this project right before Halloween. So what do you think about this project? Please use the comments and tell me about it. Would you use this ghost in your Halloween decoration and would you like to see more of such cool projects here on my channel? Talking about the channel, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider subscribing and activate the notification bell. This way you can support me and my channel here. And one last thing, if you like the project, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up so other people who come across this video will see, hey, this is a pretty awesome project. So we are at the end and all I can say is thanks for watching, until next time and happy Halloween.